Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll explain you comparison of FET and BJT. From this video onwards, I'll explain you field effect transistors. In this video, I'll explain you basic fundamentals of field effect transistors. Based on these basics, there can be so many questions in university examinations as well as in interviews. So as if you want to crack interviews of semiconductor industries, then you should be having understanding related basic concepts of field effect transistor. Here I'll explain you each and every concepts related field effect transistors in great detail. So you just see this video till last. Let us compare FET and BJT by symbol first. See FET means field effect transistor and BJT means bipolar junction transistor. With FET there are different family members. With FET, there are two categories first, JFET and MOSFET. JFET means junction field effect transistor, MOSFET means metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Here, I will be explaining you symbol of JFET over here. See, with JFET, we have three terminals, drain, gate and source. Here with gate, you can observe arrow is there in this direction, means this JFET is N channel JFET. So here symbol is there with N channel JFET. If you observe here, we have BJT. With this BJT, we have three terminals, collector, base and emitter. With emitter, if you observe arrow, that is in outward direction, means this is NPN transistor. Let us talk about FET and BJT in terms of how it is getting controlled. See FET is voltage control device and BJT is current control device. How can we say FET is voltage control and how can we say BJT is current control? Let me explain you how. See with this BJT let us say we are having input current over here that is IB and here output current that is IC. So here output current that is getting controlled by input current this IC that is equals to beta IB. So if you change IB current IC current will change means output current is controlled by input current that's why BJT is current control device. Right. When it comes to FET, then here we are having output current that is drain current ID. And here in between gate and source, let us say we are applying VGS voltage. Here this drain current that is getting controlled by input voltage which is VGS. So output current ID that we control by input voltage in between gate and source. That's why FED is voltage control device. So here if you want to increase drain current then you'll have to increase VGS voltage. So one can say FED that is voltage control device as output current is controlled by input voltage and BJT is current control device as output current is getting controlled by input current. Now let us talk about polarity of FET and BJT. See FET is unipolar device and BJT is bipolar device. Now how to identify polarity? See with BJT current flows due to majority and minority carriers. So in BJT when you talk about NPN transistor, see this is NPN transistor. So in BJT current flows due to majority and minority carrier. So in NPN transistor, majority carriers are electrons and minority carriers are holes. So in BJT, current flows due to electrons and holes. Right, majority carrier is electron and minority carrier is hole in NPN. So BJT is bipolar device. Why? The reason is current flows due to both polarity majority and minority while with FET we have unipolar only why the reason is 
here current flows due to majority carriers only like as if you have n channel fad see this is n channel fad so with this n channel fad current is id this current id that flows due to electrons only in case of n channel and as if you have p channel mosfet or p channel fat in that case current flows due to holes only so see fad is unipolar in fad current flows due to majority carrier only in n channel current flows due to electrons in b channel current flows due to holes while bjt is bipolar in bjt current flows due to majority and minority in npn majority is electrons and minority holes in pnp majority is hole and minority is electron right now next point that is quite interesting see fed is having higher input impedance see that input impedance with fed that is there in terms of mega ohms it is there in terms of mega ohms which is way high compared to bjt see here if you talk about this fed let us say here we have source that is common in between input and output so here with input impedance over here that is there in terms of mega ohm here with this bjt input impedance that is less as input impedance is less with bjt bjt is having more sensitivity see if you have lower impedance then variation in current will be high so you can say sensitivity is more so here see fat is having higher impedance at input side that's why it is having lower sensitivity means variation in output that will be lower with respect to variation in input while bjt is having lower input impedance means variation in output will be higher with respect to variation in input so you can say fed amplifiers are less noisy so effect of noise with fed amplifier is very less compared to bjt right so in terms of noise you can say fed are better compared to bjt but in terms of sensitivity bjt is having higher sensitivity compared to fed right see fed needs less space compared to bjt and as fed needs less space fed is preferred in integrated circuits see in ic's we may have so many logics like you may have ic's based on gates you may have ic's based on cpu you may have ic's based on any function so in ic's we prefer fet over bjt why the reason is fet requires less space why it requires less space the reason is fet is conducting based on channel right while with bjt we need junctions and layers so bjt requires higher space compared to fet why the reason is in fet conduction happens via channel only right so you don't need to have so many layers right and so many junctions here formation of channel will decide how much current will flow while with bjt we need to have proper junctions right and we need to have multiple layers that's why bjt requires higher space see fat are more temperature stable as compared to bjt and because of fat are more temperature stable in broad temperature range we can use fat and for narrow temperature range we prefer bjt so that is how basic parameters are there with fat and bjt i hope now you can reply to so many questions based on fat right there can be many question based on fat like how fat is voltage control device like there can be question how fat is unipolar device there can be question how fat is having lower sensitivity compared to bjt there can be question why should we prefer fat in integrated circuit over bjt so this kind of questions are frequently coming in interviews that's why i have made this session in this way
I hope you have got the point. Still, if anything that you like to share, please note it down in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.